Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your daily, not your daily, this is monthly, sorry. I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Virgos for the month of November 2017. So today we are going to be talking about your general theme, your overall theme for the month of November. So that will give you kind of just a general guide for the entire month. And then we also are going to be getting a little bit more guidance from the angels with our angel deck here. And then we're going to be checking in with the romance angels this month. So more information about your romantic relationship will be coming through this month. And then lastly, I have some quick feng shui tips for doors this month. So really quick things that you can do and check on to actually really help shift things in your life. So I'm super excited to share that with you. And I have a new series that I started in, at the end of October that is Feng Shui Friday. So every Friday I'm gonna have a quick video, kind of like the that I kind of like the ones that I do at the end of these. It's going to be just a quick video with some quick feng shui tips for you that you can implement over the weekend, which is really fun. So feng sh feng sh I want to call it fun. Fun feng shui Fridays. No, it's just feng shui Friday is what's going to be coming out for you. So lots of uh, good tips that will be coming forth and I've, I've gotten several of those filmed already and just more ideas keep coming to me. So that will be something really fun. The other thing that I want to just share before I get started with the reading is I have a super duper Halloween special that I'm doing between now and November 6th. The special is this. You get to save 31%, holy Hannah, 31% off of any private reading with me. So that can be, uh, I offer readings anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours, so it can be any length of reading. And all you need to do is enter the coupon code HALLOWEEN, and that will save you 31%. So super duper deal. I've only done this ever one other time, but I always follow the guidance, and the guidance came in that I was meant to offer the sale. So I am doing that. I'm offering the sale for you, and super excited to obviously it's a it's a way to sometimes for people to connect with me if you're not sure about like you know whether it would be helpful to have a reading with me or not it's a great opportunity to try me out I guess if you will and the I just know the the information the guidance that's been coming in since I've been on Maui well before that too obviously but since I've been on Maui like a whole new level it's really really amazing the stuff that comes through and because I have so much experience I have a lot of other business tools and, and other tips and other processes that can help you and that oftentimes will come through in a reading as well. So whatever I'm guided to share with you is what comes through and you get the benefit of all of that knowledge and training that I've had as well. So the links are below for the Halloween sale, the Halloween special and the scheduling links are there as well as I have a feng shui special that I'm offering for the month all the way through the month of November. If you are watching this on November 7th or later and still want to do a private reading with me, you can use the coupon code ANGEL20. If you haven't ever had a reading with me before, ANGEL20 will save you 20% on any reading. So feel free to take advantage of that after November 7th. Let's get started. So Virgos, we've got Six of Fire coming in for you, which is an awesome theme for your month. So the Six of Fire, fire cards are all about passion and action. And of course, matches my fire shirt that I have on today, the Blessed One. And this fire energy is a victory for you. So yay! It's also fire energy, and in feng shui as well, fire energy is about fame and reputation, and that shows up in this card for you too. You may get some sort of public recognition. You may get some sort of award. In some way, shape, or form, there's good news that's going to be coming to you in the month of November. So let's watch for that, and we'll see what's coming in for that. I love if you guys comment, you know, if if you during the month then discover like what the news is, like post a comment here. I would love that. I, I love to 
hear how this is impacting you and how it's affecting you. And I also invite you to share my channel with other people that you think may be interested in and this may help them, right? They may have some helpful guidance for them in that too. So I invite you to share the channel if you feel called to do so. All right, we've got Page of Air. So those of you that are cuspers, that are Leo Virgo cusp and watch both, you may have seen this card already because it came up in the Leo reading. I would, I was, it's always interesting to me how there's that little bit of overlap. So we've got Page of Air coming in. The air cards are all about the head, about the intellect. And this is about some challenging information. So you're going to get some information, maybe delivered in a way that's not so nice, that is going to be a little bit challenging. It may kind of be a bump in the road for you. So it may cause delays, it may require you to change whatever plans that you had. There, there's just maybe some shifts or changes around that, okay? So, but let's just accept what is. Yes, this is what has happened, now what? Now, how are we going to react? And let's react from a space of love. No matter how other people are treating us, we always can show up as love. We can always show up from the, the space of like, what would love do, right? What would God do? What would source do? However you want to phrase that. What would love do? I really like that piece of it. And then we've got the strength card coming in for you, Archangel Ariel. And this is about letting you know that you got some nice deep inner strength and everything that you've been through in your life has helped build this strength for you and so now is an opportunity or a time in november where you might want to draw upon that strength you might want to be like oh yeah i got this shield right i've got this strength inside of me and again it's about letting go of judgment so it's interesting because the leo reading that came up in i think that was the deep dive may have come up in both readings but uh, the deep dive potentially and it's about forgiveness and compassion. So it's about like, you have no idea what's going on in other people's life. Let's have some compassion, right? And if people are hurting you, if they're causing you pain, that's just them showing you their pain. So Matt Kahn talks about this wonderfully, where he talks about like Care Bear and Deadass. The nastier people are to you, the more you, more love you should give them, right? So they're needing more compassion in that moment, at that time. So send that to them, be that for them. And then we have the Nine of Earth coming in, which is a nice little card. This is a Nine of Earth. Our Earth cards are all about how you make your money, what you need to do to be here on planet Earth. And nine, of course, in feng shui is a very lucky number, very auspicious number. It's about reaching new heights. And this nine in particular is about enjoying the little things in life. So really finding the magic in all kinds of little things. Finding the magic in, you know, doing one little thing where you're just like, oh, wow, this is really peaceful here. Or I really like the color of this person's eyes. Or oh, that's a really cool architecture in that building. You know, there's lots of different things to appreciate. And that this card is really wanting you to do that. The other thing that this card signifies for you in the month of November is spending some time by yourself. Spend some time alone. Spend some time meditating. Get quiet. Because that's where the answers lie. The answers are in the quiet not in the chaos. It's, you know, oftentimes we're drawn to chaos because we are wanting to avoid what our soul knows we need to do or what we're meant to be doing, or we are wanting to avoid, maybe wanting to avoid emotions. You know, that can be part of it too, where you're not, you're wanting to avoid the things that you're feeling. And so you just get yourself so busy that you don't have time to think about it. You don't have time. And it, it, people can get addicted to chaos or even addicted to drama because it makes them feel alive. It's one of those things like, oh, you know, when there's drama, I feel alive. There's a lot better ways to feel alive, people. Lots better ways. So... This is just a sign or a signal to let's get some quiet time in there. And then also bodes very well for self-employment. So if you are self-employed or considering self-employment, this is a beautiful card for you. This is like a yes to that. Right. 
move into the romance. Same rules. Let's see what's happening for you in the romance department this month. So for those of you that I, I have not really been promoting this much, I did initially, but I haven't. I haven't been doing too much. But I do have a deep dive reading that always um, that I do every month for each one of the zodiac signs as well, and it has deeper information. It's a much longer reading, deeper dive on for this month's doors, and then deeper dive information on just all the different areas of your life. So if that's something that you're interested in, it's really reasonable. It's like less than a cup of coffee. It's $5.55 for the deep dive reading. So if that's something that you're interested in, there will be links below for that. So romance, in the romance department, we have release your ex. So some of you have some courting happening with your ex. And this is partly, you know, sometimes it's a habitual because you were together for a long time and so they just automatically record to you. So it's kind of a habit kind of pattern thing, but in, in any event, you need to clear your energy, you need to cut cords. So a couple of different things that can be happening for you around this is maybe you have been hanging on to some stuff that your ex gave you, that has the energy of your ex, whatever that might be. If you were in a relationship and you slept together in a bed, I would recommend getting new sheets new sheets at the very least. If you can get a new bed, I would do that. Um, but at the very least, I would get new sheets, right? Um, so that's a way to release your ex. And then of course, cutting cords. You can just visualize cutting those cords around you and sending them back with love and light. And then you would fill the holes that are left within you with a pink light. And that's just a way. And if you forget all of that, just ask Archangel Michael. Michael will come in and cut cords for you. And then we've got the retreat card coming in. So the retreat signifies that you do need, if you're single, you need to take some time and take a retreat for yourself. So that would be beautiful energy that flows in with that Nine of Earth card. And the retreat, if you are in a partnership, this is the time for the two of you to go away, to disconnect from the world and reconnect with one another. Doesn't have to be some big elaborate trip. It can be going away for the weekend. It can be going up north for the weekend. It can be, you know, having a staycation. So maybe you stay home and you just, and you just be. You're not doing projects, you're not doing anything. You're just hanging out together, right? Where you have that time that is free from the distraction that is our cell phones and our social media and, 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 right? Okay, and then we've got playfulness coming in for you. So the playfulness piece of things is really letting you know like let's be more playful let's quit taking everything so seriously life is supposed to be fun do you know that life is supposed to be fun so this is a beautiful opportunity to recapture the romance in your relationship by having some fun so go play some mini golf go do one of those escape rooms you know, go hiking, go swimming, whatever it is that's going to be more playful, let's do that, right? Let's, let's work on that this month with our partners. Yay, love that. Stay tuned. The next video is going to be your quick feng shui tips for doors. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your quick feng shui tip for November 2017. So today's tip is about doors and doors, issues with doors can cause a number of things to be happening in your life. So you may find uh, doors can cause arguing, they can cause complaining, whining, confusion, all kinds of different things that the doors in your home actually can affect or have an impact on in your life. So today I'm going to give you essentially two quick feng shui tips related to doors. Here is your homework assignment or your task for today. That is to go around your entire home and check all of the doors. And that would mean doors to the outside, doors to bedrooms or other rooms, closet doors any type of door that you have in your home, go around and check all of these. And you're going to be checking for two things. Number one, can they open fully? And this is really, really important, especially around the front door because that's where your opportunities come in, but other doors in the home as well because doors represent the voice of adults 
in the home. And when we have doors that aren't able to fully open, we may find that our voice as an adult is um, not being able to be heard, right? So it's not opening fully. So we wanna make sure that all of the doors in your home can open fully. That means you're not storing junk behind them. Uh, they are able to fully open and that will allow your voice to be heard and also as it relates to the front door for more opportunities to enter and to find you. The second thing that I want you to check when you are going around checking all of your doors is to see whether they are making any noise. Are your doors squeaking? Are they essentially complaining or whining? That can be symbolic of complaining or whining by the adults in your home. So we want to make sure that all of our doors can move freely without making any noise, right? We want them to be. So a little WD-40 can go a long ways to quieting the complaining chatter in your home if that's something that you're experiencing. So those are my two quick feng shui tips for doors this month. Make sure to check out the next video if you're interested in doing more work with me. If you're fascinated by feng shui and want to learn more, check out the next video that will have a little bit more for you. If you are interested in having me take a look at your home, I have an amazing deal that I'm offering through the end of November. I have, I can honestly say I've never ever offered this deal before. I was, it was guided, I was guided to do this. So normally I have a focused feng shui consult which is a, a really good, um, it's not my top consult, but it is a really great consult to be able to get a lot of wonderful information about your home and the things to do to shift it. Uh, you get your Bagua, right? I'll create your accurate Bagua for you. You will also talk about like door issues and uh, Oh, there's a number of different things, stairways, bathrooms, stoves, all kinds of different things that we'll talk about. And then whatever you're having an issue with, we will focus on that. And I will give you some specific solutions for that particular issue that you're having to be able to help solve that. So normally those consults are $675. This month only, through the end of November, I'm offering them for $477 okay and you can break that up into payments and the beautiful thing is as long as you book by November 30th you can push the appointment out even into the new year you just have to schedule the appointment okay so uh, go ahead and schedule there'll be a link below for that you can go ahead and schedule and you can pay half up front and then pay half when we have the appointment so that is just a beautiful offering that I'm being guided to give you this month. And if you know anyone else that's interested in that, you are welcome to share that. I am going to be blasting it out onto social media and different things like that and with my daily videos as well. So for now, relax, have fun, and enjoy the month of November. Much love to you.